coming right there. All right, hey guys, I'm here at the Round Canopy Parachuting Team, all right? Um, I, I want to tell you guys all about this stuff. Uh, real quick though, I, I want to give a shout out to one of our sponsors, uh, Sportsman's Guide. They are uh, one of our big sponsors and without my sponsors, there's no way that I could bring you guys these high quality videos for free. So anyways, uh, great stuff. And uh, they, they have military surplus, so that's their interest in sponsoring this video because these guys do a lot of the reenactment stuff, including jumping in enormity, with, which I think is just incredible. So I'm here with Bill, and he's going to tell us all about the Round Canopy Parachuting Team. Right. I keep calling it a club. It's not a club. Yeah. Round Canopy Parachuting Team USA. USA. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So our, our, our mission, Carl, is to honor the World War II paratroopers that came before us, right? Uh, our legacy as paratroopers, our legacy, our legacy started uh, in the Second World War. The paratrooper has been involved in every conflict and war forward. So yeah. our mission is to remember our legacy and those that have come before us. We also have an additional mission statement, a uh, vision that we want, the struggling warriors that are out there, men and women that need something, this is where they come. If they're out of the military, uh, they can come here, have the brotherhood, the fellowship, the camaraderie. They come right here, and we also teach them how to jump out of airplanes. You, you personally pulled guys off the off the edge, off that ledge, and given them something to focus on in their life. Yes, and I think I think that's off is awesome. We do a lot of that. We try to help people out. Um, you know, there's unfortunately being at war this long. I know a lot of people don't even realize we're still in a in a conflict. There's a on, there's a lot of vets out there that have been, VA has made addicted yes. to opiates and lots of people with drinking problems. There's a lot of people out there that have got demons in their head. They do. And uh, they, they do, they need to find something else to focus on. Right. And guys, if you're one of those guys that's on the ledge or you know somebody out there and all they're focused on is their problems, I'm here to tell you, you, get on, you put on one of these parachutes right here and you get them up in the air and they can see that there is a much bigger world out there on this pretty blue marble and uh, they can find some place there to focus on. It's really yeah. awesome, Yeah, truly yeah, awesome. Is. But you guys do literally more than just parachuting here in Palatka, Florida. Yes, where, yes. Where, do, where have you guys gone? Uh, we've gone to the France. Uh, we've gone for Operation Overlord. We did that for the 75th. 76th Seven. anniversary was canceled because of COVID. Don't know if the 77th anniversary will occur, but we also do Operation Market Garden. That's the Netherlands. Yeah. So two times a year, we go back to honor, again, the legacy of what those brave paratroopers did to give us a free world country, yeah. you know, and what we do here now. Guys, that's a, you, and I, I got it. 90% of our viewers, uh, they, you don't get taught world history in school anymore because you're too busy learning about different genders and stuff. And I know there's so many genders for you guys to learn. You've got to take cliff notes for the test. I got that, all right? But there's um, that part of history, literally, you understand, the big deal of D-Day, people hitting the beaches, that's just a small part. These paratroopers going in, once you leave the plane, there's nobody coming to help you. You've got, they, they literally volunteered we will hold the ground until Big Army pushes off the beaches and hopefully gets to us. And that, that's a big step. And uh, like, like you said, every generation, uh, even Panama, that's right. Panama, Grenada. Noriega, yeah. really? But there were paratroopers there that's jumping right. in uh, initial invasion of Afghanistan. There were parachute operations there. And it, like you said, every- And Iraq, yes. And some of the crazy shit the Mac V saw guys were doing and everything in Vietnam, it, it, it truly is amazing. And uh, just going around the hangars, they've got a beautiful museum in here. And uh, just the logos, and man, I forgot all about that unit. Right. And, uh, right. and it's just great stuff. Um, so these guys actually do the reenactments, jumping into Normandy, like you said, the 75th. A bunch of you guys did that. We did. And it we wasn't did. just uh, your group. There were groups from France and all these other countries also, right? Right. Well, if I could back up uh, some of your team members, 
um, ODA 595, yeah. the, as, the you guys, soldiers, yeah, yeah. as you guys initially deployed into yeah. Afghanistan, yeah. Uh, and then we came in behind you, right? You guys went off and did the, the, the cool guy thing. And then we came in, as I like to tell people, we just had a peacekeeping operation. <laughs> no, yeah. I said, you, got, you, you guys killed everyone. Which quickly turned into an occupation. Right. And uh, we're not, we're not going to go there. We're but go it's there. ironic that uh, about two years ago, Mark Newt called and said, hey, I'd like to get uh, a group of guys together, a team together, go jump for the 75th. So he came down, brought their guys through training, jump master refresher, sustain, bar, you name it got them under canopy, we went to France, we did the Operation Overlord or the, the D-Day invasion anniversary, the That's 75th, so to cool, honor man. those paratroopers. That's and so, so cool. uh, we're gonna look forward to having you do that. Brother, as yes. soon as they let up the COVID thing, I am there. Uh, my son, uh, our, my, mine yeah. and his Christmas present was the, the, the full World War II uniform, including the brown Cochrane jump boots which I forgot how much I hated, by the way. You gotta mow the lawn in them. You gotta polish them up and mow a lot of lawns to break them in. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I've, we've been here for a week. I did Jumpmaster Refresher. I mean, you gotta remember, I'm, I'm, I'm old, I'm a fag. I'm a former action guy. And I literally, the last time I did a static line Jumpmaster was I put my A-team into Ethiopia in 1980, wow. 1987. So, uh, He's got, oh, it'll all come back to you. And I'm looking at this parachute harness. I'm like, ooh. But you, your instructors literally, yeah. um, I learned more in your Static Line Jump Master course from your Master Jump Master than I did in the entire Jump Master course than when I went through in the military. They brought it all back. And uh, from there, we did my whole crew, including my son. Uh, we all did the Airborne uh, course. We pinned wings on everybody last night. My chest still hurts. <laughs> oh my God. They, but, still, uh, they still bleed. They're driving right? that shit in with helmets. <laughs> it was a beautiful thing. Uh, All right, so you want to talk about a small world. It literally, it literally is. John Hofstetter, brother, this is awesome. Leave me hanging. Leave yeah, me hanging. We went through the Q course together. We started uh, the... 392? Yeah. Oh, wow, a long, long time. 300 F1 at Fort San. At San, San Antonio. And uh, we went, you're one of the guys that we went on to Fort Bragg together, yeah, yeah. Uh, Med Lab, all that stuff. He decided he wanted to redo some of Extra the medical training, training again. Training. He recycled back. That sounds better if you say he just wanted to do more <laughs> training. Much better medic than me. Um, but then after that, we went our separate ways. I went on the fifth group. You went on, it was 10th, right? 10th group. 10th group. You went on to be a PA. I'm a physician assistant, right? Physician assistant. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, dude, we come back together. I had no idea you were going to be down here. Yeah. I walk in, and here's you and your old SF uh, windbreaker. And he said, hey, man, how you doing? Haven't, haven't seen you in forever. You thought you knew me from 10th group. Tenth, from I, tenth I, group. I, I, thought I, was, I thought you I were in Germany with yeah. me, and I, I couldn't place it. And after he walked out, he said, oh, I'm going to be jumping with my son. And after he yeah. walked out, and I was like, the cobwebs started clearing yeah. and everything. And, and I was like, oh, shit. Can I say that? I don't know. <laughs> how did you get connected with Round Canopy Parachutes? And what's your story? So, so it's, uh, it's probably a common story for a lot of guys yeah. on the team. I was uh, retired in 2006 as a PA from 10th group. I was in 3rd yeah. Battalion when I retired. And um, I just kind of relegated my life to seeing patients, you know, complaining about their light, you know, whether, whatever their ailments were in a 10 by 10, 12 by 12 windowless room. And uh, so I was living my life. Six years later, for the 70th anniversary of Normandy, uh, David Hamilton, uh, who's another physician assistant, mm -hmm. another SF guy, fifth group, yep. and um, posted a picture of him jumping out of a C-47 in Normandy with RCPT in Normandy. Now, yeah. Hubert Aachen started, and, and his wife, Dominique, they started this whole thing uh, over there. As more and more as more and more people were doing jumps and everything, and, and this thing developed, uh, Jack Wingate and uh, a whole bunch of other guys got together, and they formed RCPT USA. Short story long, I look at the Facebook and there's Dave Hamilton jumping out of a C-47 wearing M42 uniforms. And so I email him, I said, how'd you do that? Yeah. And he goes, dude, you gotta come out here. You gotta get trained. Um, we do it all the time. And uh, uh, you know, the team is growing here in the US. Um, and 
it, it was like, sign me up. I turned 50 uh, 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 three years ago, yeah. and uh, that was my birthday present to me. To was that I'm going to I'm going to jump the uh, the C47 into Normandy for my 50th birthday. And That's I did so it, cool. And I did dude. it three times. That's awesome. And I got to jump master it over there too. Hubert was really kind to me. And it changed jump, your life. Didn't jump it? mastering a C47 over Normandy, missing the drop zone like everybody else. <laughs> I mean, I had an, I, I, I could talk, you talk for hours, I could talk for hours about that trip. It was the most amazing time. It was a pilgrimage. Yeah. It's, it's a religious experience to go see this battlefield. The French people are fantastic. These, they, they, you see as many American flags as you see French flags in the American sector. You go over to the British sector because they're closer, they cross yeah. the channel. It's just a week long party and commemorations. These, the, these veterans are walking around like freaking rock stars. Yeah. Um, they have handlers and they're parting the crowds because everybody is coming up. The kids, you, you don't see that in America. You the don't kid, see that. You the don't kids see are it coming up asking for autographs from these World War II veterans. And uh, you know, the, I went back for the 75th, we did it again. Um, I, and uh, we were on Mont Saint Michel doing the tourist thing, yeah. and there were some World War II guys there, and they were getting mobbed on the streets of this, you know, medieval, uh, uh, you know, uh, cloister that was. Wow. It's it absolutely, it's it's fantastic. So I got, you know, more, as I because I got the bug, I got more and more involved. We started doing more and more jump mastering stuff, um, and like my. From my SF background, I love teaching. Yeah. The funnest thing I do next to jumping out of that airplane with RCPT is t teaching guys. Oh, and I saw your all your instructors are just passionate about delivering the, the information and not just saying it, but also making sure that these students actually grasp yeah. it. And that's what I missed in a lot of military schools was once they put it out, you got one time to raise your hand and after that they didn't care. Yeah. But you guys literally, you took my son who had never done anything you took me, who had done it, but I hadn't done Static Line Jump Master in literally decades, and you you brought us up to speed. You made us do it safe, and uh, no, dude. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, we model. You know, we're using legacy equipment for the military now. Yeah. I mean, the, the active duty military aren't. They're, they're still in the inventory. The SF10, MC6. They're yeah. still, but they're not jumped commonly or widely. So we're starting to see more and more younger guys who never jumped it and everything so uh but you know ever there and then we see more and more older guys who jump t10s and yeah, you know whenever crazy stuff. And, and are they like i you know dial they, of death yeah yeah well we don't got none of those <laughs> Um, so we're using, you know, equipment yeah. um, uh, that is, you know, standardized for the military. There's no modifications to the parachutes. Mm -hmm. Our policies, our processes, our ASOP and everything is modeled after the military model. We're all very intimately familiar with the military model. Um, and it's, it's proven. It works. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's, what, that's the main thing. Yeah. Why would you do something, you know, literally hundreds of thousands of jumps on, these, on mm -hmm. this gear why would safely change that? why would yeah. we change anything so um uh we do demilitarize everything i mean as far as we're not there's no sergeants there's no ranks oh, yeah, there's no, no it, colonels this is total joy yeah total no, joy. nobody knows anybody anybody's real rank you yeah. know i mean our commander our, our the president of rcpt bill markham you yeah. talked to earlier yeah. is a retired lieutenant colonel i think and he wears private stripes does it really? on his uniform that's funny so, yeah shit. that's actually pretty cool <laughs> Um, yeah, but there's no yelling, you know, no one's, you know, no one's doing push-ups, you know, no. nothing. We want, we love this Just and we want to. Just a lot of PLFs. And we, oh, <laughs> there's a reason for that. That's where that. No, <laughs> yeah, I, no, yeah. it's, it's sincerely. No, it's, it's hard um, work. You'll get by, beat up. By the end of it, there was a reason why you do the, the parachute landing falls. There is a reason why yeah. you do it without a doubt, without a doubt. Yeah, no, a thousand percent that, uh, uh, you know, our, our goal is a safe, successful jump with no, no injuries whatsoever. And, yeah. And we're pretty good at it. You are. You know, injuries you happen. A great, great show. You were, you were head man last year on this event, right? Well, for OBC Operation Black Cat, Black which Cat. is the fall event. That's the one in October. That's the one in October uh, with the we Huey. We will be back here in October, and brother, I'm just looking forward to doing this. Well, the last time I flew a Huey, well, I, we two years, three years ago, we had a civilian model Huey. Last yeah. time I flew a military Huey was in my PLDC class oh, uh, on Fort Bragg when I was a 12 Bravo in the 20th Engineer Brigade. And, uh, uh, and then the Blackhawks came in yeah. and we never saw them again. Yeah. And so it's just, you know, that wop, 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 and the, the, the look and the feel. And that was a big thing coming yeah. back after six years. You yeah. know, it was, it, um, the smells, the sights, the language, you know, yeah. the, the way people oh, talk yeah, to each way, other, uh, you know. The way vets get around each other and uh, 
the camaraderie and the jackassery that the people lots do. Lots of jackassery. Just, not on the plane. Awesome. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, not on the, not not on on the plane. plane, but no, it's the culture. We just had three uh, uh, women come through here. Um, two from were from the, style. yeah, from yeah. Grunt style. Too. There's two women and a, uh, uh, or two Marines and a, uh, an army. And they, they said, I can't believe we can speak how yeah. we speak. You know, yeah. I mean, I've been holding my tongue for years in yeah. the, cause it, in the environments that they're at. And they were just, they, they were so liberated yeah. and, and had, had such a good time. They came because honor, honor of yeah. women's history month in the military. A lot of people don't realize that there were female paratroopers, um, not, Infantry, but if you think French resistance, right? Goes oh, absolutely. All the way back to that. So, uh, Jedburgh teams, OSS, yeah. SOE, yeah, they yeah. all had. There were women involved in that. So awesome stuff. And they, like I said, they they were, uh, they were they were soldiers. They were Marines. They uh, they looked forward to getting back around oh, yeah. fellow servicemen, where you could act like you like, were a like, member of the like team and not be team, just some yeah. prissy uh, <laughs> nothing. Yeah, they were awesome. They were fun yeah. to hang. One was my ranger buddy. That yeah, video. we, uh, her first jump, uh, she was on the plane with me, so she was my ranger buddy. We had, we had a good time. Like, and she was, <laughs> she was pretty nervous. I won't say scared, because she yeah. never hesitated, but she was, she was nervous about yeah, it, she, you know. Now, Perez, you did awesome. I'm yeah. very, very proud of you, very proud of you. She did Well, a they great stayed job. after the course and made yeah. a couple more jumps. They did, you know, they did. So, they did good. Yeah, so that's the, that's the course, right? You, uh, we, we only have like 24 slots per class because we want to make sure we manage it and give any, everybody their individual attention if they need it. We, um, uh, the course is really only two and a half, three days. Uh, we do a ground, we do a ground phase, yeah. uh, uh, and then we transition to jump operations. You'll make a solo jump from a smaller aircraft, um, and. Smaller, so you, get, you could almost say small S. Yeah, the smallest it's, aircraft we <laughs> could find with the, they would get that rubber band wound <laughs> real tight, you know, make that thing go. Uh, but so we could, you know, one jumper in the air, you, you they know. get personal instruction. We, uh, you know, talking with the bullhorn, we'll guide you to the ground. Um, but in order to get one of those classes, they fill up really fast. That's, yeah. that's, that's a big challenge that we have because our wait list gets longer and longer each uh, class. It's Gunner now also yeah. because I want these guys out here to support you guys and no, just everything you guys do and uh, yeah, helping out people that need to be helped out, but also making this this whole experience like, hey, you don't have to be military. Yo, hey, you got you don't got to dress like us. You you can literally show up a complete novice and have a great, literally a great yeah. experience, a magical experience. Yeah, we got it's the parachutes awesome, and the helmets. Just bring your boots and long sleeves. You'll be and good, man. Me and my son had a just a, a great time, dude. I'm so glad. All right, uh, I just watched him land the last jump of the, the weekend vet, yeah. with the C-47 Tycho Bell. And uh, dude, he landed <laughs> much closer to the mark than I did. I'll, I'll give you that, brother. You got this. But you do a lot of square shoots too. No, I just started that back up did again. You really? I, well, that's, that's another. A, that's a whole other awesome. thing. That's I took awesome. a break from that for a long time. But right. Bill talked me into it. Anyways, we're gonna get back to Bill, and we're gonna wrap this thing up, guys. This whole weekend's just been magical, John. Thank right. you, and dude. It's, it's been it's so, so awesome it's seeing nice to you, see you, man. But just uh, likewise, I literally learned more more in the airborne course than I did in, I don't even remember how long airborne school was at Fort Benning. I know it was a complete waste of my time. All I learned was basically how to shuffle and don't worry, gravity will do all the work. No, literally, if you have That's any true. questions at all, you don't think you can do it, uh, this is the perfect team right here. You don't have to be military to do this. Do we you? don't, you don't, um, you can do this as a civilian. So any civilian out there that has the, the, the want to do this, the inkling to do this, come to us. We'll help you out. I, I, ha 
I had a couple of those in my stick. Chris, I'm giving you a shout out. Chris's father was a airborne guy back in Vietnam. His father just passed away. He had a couple other uncles that were special forces in Vietnam. They just passed away. Chris came here to kind of honor them, scared to death, never in the military. And uh, his very first jump, uh, the look on his face was like, I don't know if I can do the second jump. But he pushed through. I'm here to tell you. That gentleman was so brave, so I just so proud last night at graduation. He's like, Carl, I will be back here good, in good. October for, uh, it's Mad Cat, right? Black Cat. Black Cat. Operation Black Cat uh, So Five. what's Operation Black Cat? So we do two training events a year for our members and the future members that come to the team. Uh, you just attended Operation Sand Snake 5. This is just our spring event. Yeah. So for the fall event, and that keeps us in that 180 day yeah. training cycle, right? So we, so I don't have to start we from remain scratch current, again. right? Um, so from there, we're gonna uh, bring in special aircraft, my intentions, with the approval of uh, Art Schaefer from Skydive Flacca yeah. to bring in some Hueys and a Sky Van so we can do a dedicated Huey drop yeah. and also do a tailgate jump off of a Sky Van, right? So you, you get to do a freaking <laughs> helicopters and fixed wing. Yeah. Right, Sky Van's fixed Sky, wing. Fi, and that's a tailgate. Yeah, a tailgate yeah. jump. Yeah. And uh, guys, this, this time we jumped the, I, I don't want to say antique, I want to say Historic. I don't want to say how about, how about I don't historic? want to say relic either, but I, I want to say just a true piece of American history. Yeah. We jumped to C-47. This one's actually called the Tycho Bell, yeah. and by serial number, that aircraft actually dropped paratroopers twice in World War II, towed a glider for the 101st. You want to talk about the worst job in a airborne unit? You don't even get to jump. Your ass is gonna ride in in a square tin can with wings on it, no motors. What? Who signs up for that? Uh, that actual aircraft did it. I got to personally, uh, because these guys were such great instructors and, and they took a chance on me, <laughs> I literally got to jump master my son as the first jumper, yeah, and then Chad and Emery, all the rest of the tactical rifleman crew, we had our own stick going out of a C-47 right here on this drop zone, and jump commands, everything. We got the camera out on the wing. It was just awesome. My wife was crying over the phone, FaceTime, just watching it. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. That kind of bonding with my son that kind of bonding with other like-minded Americans. So whether you're a vet, whether you're a civilian that's just looking for that plug, and one, Chris wanting to honor his, uh, his father, or uh, you want something different for your little group of guys, you wanna get, get them, hey, instead of just drinking all weekend long, let's focus on something more constructive. Let's take a road trip. Instead of going to Vegas, instead of just going to a beach, let's go do something real, tangible, you can come to Round Canopy Parachuting Team, and guys, this this was my son. It was his my son said it was his favorite vacation of his entire life. That's good. If I knew that, you know how much money I pissed away at <laughs> Disney World and all these other places. Yeah. This was awesome. This yeah. was awesome. It truly was. Yeah. All right. So, to let's say I got all these people that want to come do this. How do, how do they do that? Yeah, how do they do thank that? you. Um, the Round Canopy Parachuting Team, just Google search or any search engine, okay. or rcptusa.org. Click on that. You don't have that. to say it slow because it's written right here. That's right. And uh, yeah, right here, right? Uh, click on that, become a member, come down here, sign up for a class. And that class in October, by the way, the 25th through the 31st of October. The cool thing about okay. that, Carl, so let's just say you yep. hadn't come through the Jumpmaster course. Yep. On that Monday you come through, we speak with one voice, everyone is dressed right dressed. Yep. The students come in on Tuesday, and from there we all look and say the same thing. Without a doubt. Try I got to, my the pretty black hat. Yeah, yeah. I had my Jumpmaster shirt, and uh, uh, I, I tell you what, it was, it was a magical experience for yeah. me, it really was. Really and then was. as you see, we start jumping, and then we bring our featured aircraft in, and then the students get their final two jumps on that featured aircraft. So if it's a Huey, if it's a Skyvan, if it's a whatever it might be, 
they get those cool guy jumps at the very end. Yeah. We end that event on Sunday with a deliberate water jump into the St. John River, oh, which is right so, that way. Guys, if you got bad knees or bad yeah. back and you're not sure, the, the, the fall event's the one for you because it is. it's a soft landing. We were talking to one yeah. of your um, followers, yeah. and I know he said he had problems with his yeah. legs. So that's the individual that we want to have come out. Exactly. Let him go through the course, and we'll put them in the water, just like you and I work. did. Yeah. The teams, I'll have the DZSO boat there, yeah. and then the boat's going around. As soon as those jumpers come out, they go to the jumpers. So everything that you and I learned in the military, no need to reinvent the wheel. It yeah. works, right? We took the Army Doctrine, changed that to RCPT, and pressed print. So guys, this is not just your local skydive and jump club. Um, literally, you, and they're everywhere. They're all across the US. I came to the round canopy parachuting team because this is a professional product right here, without a doubt, professional product. Um, they keep you safe. And I, I, this, is, this is the most professional put on program I have ever seen, brother. All right, um, but the, again, this is not government funded. This is literally, um, you're, this is nonprofit. We, we are a nonprofit. Yes, we are a nonprofit. And again, we, we live by our shoestring budget. So any, any of your followers out there that want to help out a nonprofit that are helping veterans, please send, them, send their money or send their people to us. If you can't come because this is just not your thing, that's fine. It's not for everybody. I got that. But brother, to keep this alive for the rest of us, for those vets and stuff, these guys need help. Uh, comment section down below the video. We've got all the details down there so you can reach out to these guys. And uh, hey, you're a truck driver and you can give five bucks or you own all the car dealerships and you can give a little bit more. Uh, whatever it is, I'm going to do my best to support these guys. Right. And brother, just thanks for everything Thank you're doing. Thank you, brother. Carl, I, I want to give you something oh, for the sure. members to see. When you become a member, you get a coin. Uh, from RCPT, you see our host nations that we jump with. Wow, that's awesome. Should be an honor for me to give this to you, brother. Dude, all right. You know I collect coins. That's right. That so, is awesome. Uh, I've got to actually get out of here. I know. I'm on that next list. He's on the next Thank list. Thank you guys out there, RCPT USA. Please just give us a chance, and uh, we'll make it right for you, just like we did. We will, dude. Just like Carl and Nick. Sincerely, thank you, thank sir. you so much. All right, brother. Thank you very much. Awesome. All right, he's got to get these jumpers in the air. You guys know the deal. Support these guys. Help them keep this afloat. Yeah. And uh, you know, you know the deal. Keep going, shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.